Welcome back everybody. This time we will take a look at how to use a packet capture. This is using packet capture, a part of the troubleshooting 48 video series. I'm going to start with a quick introduction to packet capturing and packet capture on a 40 gate. And then we will quickly move on and see how to use this tool on 40 OS. Okay, packet capture, just, just to quickly recap. Uh, this is a special a solution that allows administrators to sniff or just look at the content of the uh, packets that traverse a given system. It could be a device, it could be a, a software component, what the packet capture actually is. But the thing is that once we get uh, some data packets from the network with a packet capture tool, uh, we will be able to display those packets, the packets that we receive on a system and we will be able to look at the packets content. So not only just the headers, but also payloads. Of course, the payload is going to be visible assuming that the packet is not encrypted. If the packet is encrypted, we will see, we will still see a payload as part of the packet, but the, the content is going to be, is going to make no sense to us because it's encrypted. Now, in terms of the actual features, a packet capture features available on 40 gate systems. Well, first and foremost, we've got two types of uh, packet captures available. One is uh, what we can do at the interface level. And this is a typical packet capture that you would use, I would say, to troubleshoot any type of problems related to uh, typically connectivity or maybe packet processing. Like when you just want to see if the firewall gets uh, packets from the network and if it gets those packets, uh, do the packets look like they should? And maybe once uh, packets are processed and they leave uh, the firewall, how do they look at the egress? Were they uh, modified by the firewall? Uh, did the firewall modify those packets? Maybe uh, was network address translation applied? Uh, which interface uh, the packet uh, used to leave the firewall? Stuff like that. So in general, we will use this tool if we have some the connectivity issues and first and foremost we want to confirm that our firewall gets the packets from the network and then possibly that it sends packets back onto the network so this is interface level packet capture and as with most industry packet capture implementations the 40 gate allows you to define your own capture criteria that you can uh, then save and use quickly use uh, just reinitiate a capture based on these criteria so you can save them and you don't have to redefine them every single time you want to run the capture plus you could use multiple packet captures simultaneously like for instance uh, one at the ingress and one at the egress interface Another packet capture available on 40 OS is the policy packet capture, in which case uh, we will be able to run it for a specific firewall policy rule. So for instance, you configure a bunch of policy rules and then you just want to see what type of uh, packets match a given policy rule. In this case, you would enable packet capture within this policy rule. This is going to be part of the logging. A settings down the policy where you can enable it uh, and then you can download the uh, packet capture as a, a pcap file and uh, notice that this uh, solution policy a uh, packet capture it requires disk logging because in this case again the capture is going to be stored as a file as a, a pcap uh, file this is the standard format for uh, packet captures something you can then open with a common network analyzer such as Wireshark. Okay, so again, disk logging is something that you will need to enable before you will, uh, you will see this option. Because of that, it's not something that we will be able to use here with a virtual uh, firewall. Okay, but interface uh, packet capture, this is something we will now look at. You can run it from the GUI. You can run it from the command line. On the command line, this is going to be the config firewall on-demand sniffer command, where you can then use the diagnose on-demand sniffer to list configured packet captures. 
and you can then use this command to start or stop a capture. Okay, let's quickly take a look at this. We will go to network and diagnostics. I'm going to start with the GUI here. Okay, so we will uh, basically send some packets from router one. Maybe let's connect to router one. You guys, don't forget to subscribe if you like our content. Thanks. And let's say that we want to tell it to router two, which is on the outside. We see that we don't really have connectivity. So let's say that this is something that we want to quickly troubleshoot. Okay, we've got some rules in the policy, but we will ignore this stuff. We could also take a look at the log messages. But let's say that we want to use packet capture just to see if the firewall is actually getting packets from router one, which it should because it is part of the same layer two and layer three network. It is a directly connected segment. Okay, now on the firewall, I'm going to click on new packet capture. We can select interface what we want to run the capture on. I'm going to say run it on the inside port one connected to router one. This is going to be the interface to use in this case. We can give it a name. I'm going to say land one the telnet. We can define the maximum number of packets. And ideally, what you also want to define for the capture, just to narrow down the scope of the output, the scope of the capture is going to be to define to build a filter. So filtering as with any modern packet capture implementations, this option, this uh, feature is available on 48 as well. You can tell it what type of uh, packets you want to look at, you want to sniff, so you don't have to analyze all network communication that comes from a given interface uh, or goes out a given port. So very useful stuff. Notice that you can do it as a basic or advanced filter, where advanced filter is going to rely on the command line syntax. Now maybe let's, uh, before we run this, uh, this uh, capture, let's also quickly take a look at this in the documentation. I'm going to go to the main uh, 40 gate 40 OS documentation page. Uh, we will take a look at admin guide for 7.6.0 and then we will go down to network and diagnostics where we will open the using the packet capture tool a document. Okay, so first thing I want to show you here is that the command line syntax for advanced filtering, okay, this is something that is going to be uh, this is something we can look up when we click on performing a sniffer trace or packet capture. Uh, we will get back to this command in just a second. Uh, just notice that if you want to use the, or is it actually the previous one? No, actually it's going to be the previous document. So once again, it's the using the packet capture tool, the document. And notice that the GUI, GUI configuration, it all comes down to the config firewall on demand sniffer command on the CLI. So config firewall on demand sniffer command, this is basically the command line syntax for the packet capture on the GUI. If we define a packet capture, let's finish. Let's just say that we want to use a basic filter for for a second, I'm going to say that I will be looking at the traffic coming from 10.1.1.1, which is router 1. And let's just focus on the telnet port 23. You could also specify the protocol number like 6 for TCP, but we will skip this. I'm going to say that I want to save settings for later, like if I expect to use this uh, packet capture in the future. So this is the ability of reusing criteria defined once in the future, or you can start the capture, view the output, stop it, and then reuse um, at any other time. Okay, with that in place, if we now go down to the command line, well, let's uh, take a look at this from the GUI, a CLI option. 
let's just say show firewall on demand a sniffer. We see that the this OLAN one dash telnet, the GUI config is immediately translated to this CLI syntax. Now, if we were to use the advanced filter, we would want to use the CLI syntax as we build our criteria. So if you go back and add it, if I were to say advanced, I would I would use a syntax similar to this. So what, what do they say? Net, okay, like net 10.1.1.0 slash 24 and uh, port 23. Let's uh, give it a shot. Let's just start the capture and let's send some telnet packets from router one. And we see that this uh, advanced filter is also working as expected. Okay, but let's go back, let's re add it, and uh, let's stop. First and foremost, let's stop this uh, capture. We can save it as a PCAP. We can click on the packet and then switch to packet data to see the actual content. We can restart the capture. And once it is stopped, we can finally delete. Uh, the actual uh, file, the actual output, or we can edit it. Um, let's go back. Let's just close. Let's refresh. Let's uh, say that we want to delete the capture file. And we want to, am I able to edit it? Right, let's just get rid of the advanced syntax. Let's just stick to the basic one. Let's quickly do the same, 10, 1, 1, 1, and then uh, specify 23 as the port number here. You could also sniff a non-IP packets if you want it. So this is what you will save once again, and then refresh, click on it, start. The same thing, but with uh, just the basic filter, let's uh, send some packets. We see that those packets don't make it to router 2, but if we now take a look at the, it says it is running, so we will just click uh, view to see the stuff in the real time. So we should see some more. And we are getting these in the real time. You could also disable auto scrolling, so if you have a lot of packets, it doesn't go to the bottom and just select the packet and take a look at the header information. We see that this is a TCP set for destination 23, which is Telnet. Packet data is going to show you the payload. As simple as that. Okay, don't forget to stop capture when you're done with analysis. If you wanted to do the same thing on the CLI, We already looked at the syntax and the, the syntax on demand uh, show firewall on demand sniffer. But the way you would actually uh, run or stop it, it would be the diagnose on dash uh, demand dash sniffer command. List is going to show you the captures the find, and then you can start stop and also delete the, the actual results. But the thing is that this command is not going to display anything here on the CLI. But we've got another tool, just in case you want to stick to the CLI, which with this GUI a method is probably something that is kind of like optional. This GUI capture works really well. And in my opinion, as is something that you can use, of course, as long as you use GUI to manage 40 gauge. So I would, uh, I would go ahead and start with the GUI method. But just in case, there is also another one, another CLI command, diagnose sniffer packet, which is documented. Let's go back. We go back to the original document for using the packet uh, capture tool and then go down to, uh, to the bottom and click on performing a sniffer phrase or packet capture. This is uh, the documentation for this uh, command. Notice that it uses a special syntax. The diagnose sniffer packet, it takes an interface as an input. 
The next, it takes a filter, where the filter is the criteria for the capture. You can also say none, which means that it's going to get capture all packets that it receives on a given interface. The verbose is how you can control the information that is going to be displayed, like just headers of the packets, maybe header and data from Ethernet of packets, or maybe uh, print just the headers and interface name, or maybe just print the header and data from the IP packet. Count is how you can easily restrict how many packets it is going to display. You can always stop it with Control C. And you also have some uh, timestamp options uh, for the format here. They give you an example, uh, like diagnose sniffer packet. Port 1, this is the interface where you will run it. None means no filtering. And then 1 is going to uh, correspond to printing just the headers of the packets. And 3 means that you want to show just three packets. Okay, so if we go back and take a look at this in our case, so once again, this is going to be a good uh, tool if you want to use the command line for quick troubleshooting. Just go ahead and say diagnose a sniffer packet. Let's specify the interface. In my case, once again, this is going to be port 1 where I will be getting the packets. And then I will say uh, dot to, they give you an example how to configure a basic filter like UDP and uh, port and host. But I'm going to say none, which means we will capture all packets on this interface. We will initially print just the headers of the packets. And let's say that we want to display up to five. Then the router one, we will send some telnet packets. And we will also try to ping router two. And we see this stuff is, in fact, getting displayed on the command line. Once it displayed five packets, we've got three ICMPs, one TCP SYN, and one LDP packet. It immediately stopped the output here. So this is a really good command because it's, uh, it's something that if you don't uh, choose the count to be something really high, it shouldn't kill the firewall uh, CPU. Because the limit is really important, especially in production. Uh, you don't want to run it uh, all the time because uh, it could potentially affect the performance of the system. OK, uh, we could also change the uh, settings here, like maybe a tablet to also include the data from the IP packet. So that would be level 5 and still 5 packets. So this time it is also going to show us the payloads of each of those packets. So really cool thing, very easy to use on the CLI, a really good troubleshooting tool. And the last one, as I mentioned, there is also that option of running a capture for a given policy rule. This is something that you would normally enable within uh, a given firewall policy. But remember that this requires disk logging. So if I wanted to use it, which I will not be able to show you because, because this is a virtual appliance, which doesn't have a disk. But first thing I would go to uh, to use it, I would go to Login Report, Log Settings, and then choose the Disk option to enable local logging. And then I would go to the Firewall Policy, and you should find it. You should find the Capture Packets option somewhere are the uh, close to the logging options uh, section. If we look at the uh, performing a sniffer trace or packet capture document, they also mention how to view the uh, packet capture configured for the policy. So this is something that you would have to go to log and report for traffic logs, uh, select the log that matches the firewall policy where you enabled the, the packet capture. And then our details and archive data, you would be able to download the actual PCAP file. So you could then further analyze it with a special tool such as Wireshark.